What is up everyone, it's The Natural here and we are back with another video on the channel and I am back yet again with another Tumor This Month Film Review The show that pretty much gives you everything crazy, everything insane, everything mental, funny, ridiculous, yada 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 that's happened throughout the months of the year So, what has happened in the fifth month of May? in 2021 what is going on with bitcoin and crypto currency i like to buy 500 shares of bitcoin okay uh now before i execute this order are you sure you understand the risks of cryptocurrency absolutely Twelve seconds later. Turning to the crypto market, Bitcoin is up an eighth. Yes! After plunging 75 points this morning, which is terrible news for the company's only crypto holder, Homer Simpson. Oh! If you are new and you've no idea what cryptocurrency is, then let me try my best to explain it to you. Cryptocurrency is like this new technology that somehow you could make money off it. It could be like, I don't know, you could, for instance, go to a, a coin, any coin, you know, there's, there's coins called Dogecoin, Jesus coin, that's, that's their actual names of coins, they're not coins I just made up in my head, no, they're legit coins, and you could see which coin you want to invest in, and they will have like a little graph for you in terms of, has it gone up, has it gone up like this? or it went down like this. So yeah, and you can invest in, like I said, you put a lot of money into like Bitcoin, and then that Bitcoin, and um, you could invest into other coins. It could be any coins, like I said, Dogecoin, Jesus coin, um, many other coins on the website. Now, um, this month, Elon Musk um, wasn't everyone's favorite person, especially to all the people who invested so much money, so much time, and so much dedication into cryptocurrency. Because he came out in a tweet and said that he is not going to be investing into Bitcoin anymore. He's going to make his own new coin because of the environment. He thinks Bitcoin is not great for the environment, so he's going to invest into a new currency. It definitely did not single-handedly help all the chefs out there who invested so much money and time. You know, you and Eric who literally saw when he got into cryptocurrency, I don't know, two years ago, for example, and, you know, he had everything, everything set, you know, he looked at his wallet and think, holy shit, man, I'm doing really well, so I'm going to buy a new car, I'm going to buy a new BMW, he's going to buy a new house, he's going to buy a new motorcycle, you know, he's going to buy a lot of new things, and then, you know, Elon Musk literally went with the middle finger to Bitcoin and everybody else, and Eric's now like, oh, shit. What have I done? Oh no. Oh, why? Why do you do this to me, Elon? Why would you sell me out, Elon? I had everything set. Why? Why, Elon? Why? If you want to invest in cryptocurrency, if you're a noob or you're a beginner, I would do research before you, you do it because we have seen a lot of scammers literally you know, taking money off people. So like I said, if you're doing, if you're really want to invest in cryptocurrency and you're, you know, seeing behind anything in the end, you know, what's something I would like to do? Do your research before you do it. I will leave links in the description to videos that pretty much talk about it more in depth than me. I'm, I don't know a lot about cryptocurrency, so I'm probably not the guy to literally, 
you know, tell you what you can do, what, what, what coin is the best, or what currency, or anything not, anything to do with stock markets. I am terrible at. That's pretty much the whole situation this month for cryptocurrency, Elon Musk and Bitcoin. Elon Musk single-handedly shafted it all, thank God for sicken. Jeffs and all the Erics who single-handedly, you know, invested so much money and time into Bitcoin and just got shafted and Bitcoin dropped massively percentage-wise, 20-50% and everybody's angry at Elon Musk but it will rise again, Bitcoin. I think it's actually doing well now. You know, so, like I said, that's just the way it goes, to be honest. So, Elon Musk is not everyone's favorite person this month. Anyway, what is next? Yes, it's a bit of a shame, really, for Michael Carrick. It would have been his 30th cap, but he's been forced to pull out because of an eye infection, probably having to wait till the second half, at least. But he's a man in form. He was man of the match here at the uh, Community Shield game. Uh, much. California is farting, is, is, excuse me, fighting. Good morning. Well, obviously, we're getting a nice break from the rain, but not the flooding. This is essentially now a part of the Passaic River in this neighborhood. It rushed in yesterday through the streets. Sarah Vasey, Evan Peaty, Sean Marie O'Connor, Ben Proud, and James Guy. Congratulations. Oh, I didn't see the step. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Well, that's giving you all a good night. That's inconsolable there. Starting today, only three Minneapolis beaches. <laughs> Why? <laughs> three. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no, I ain't messing with you. Oh no. Mm -mm. Japan Railways Group launching a new Hello Kitty themed bullet train. What's that? Oh my What's she doing in there? I, oh my god, you guys! I think we have the wrong video! <laughs> what was that? I'm embarrassed! I'm red. I'm embarrassed for Hello Kitty! Matt, are you a Rick Astley fan? Uh, not a massive one. <gasps> was a oh, well, that was the wrong thing to say. Around. He's listening and he's coming up in just a moment. I'll ask you again. Are you a Rick Astley fan? Love Rick Astley. Best. <laughs> Grew up with him. <laughs> Great. He's, he's, coming up. he's coming up next, so it'll be he's very pleased to hear that. <laughs> there he is now. He's That's listening brilliant. in. Look, he heard everything you said, man. The damage is done. That's brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. And you are taking a live look out over UT's campus this morning. Ball fans fired up about the farts. The <laughs> <laughs> the start of the season. Once theaters reopen, they expect to release movies directly to theaters and on demand. Mm. AMC called the idea, quote, categorically unacceptable. Unacceptable. Universal successfully released Trolls World War II, oh, excuse me, World War II. <laughs> <laughs> On Man, that movie took a twist. <laughs> okay, it's Trolls World Tour. Excuse me, let me confess. Trolls World Tour. Okay. Now, are you looking for a snack to tickle your taste buds? Karen, do you like your taste buds tickled? Every day. <laughs> Before nine, impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Tony <laughs> Fox 5 Morning News starts. Look over there. And it starts right now. Oh. <laughs> he kills viruses in just one. What did you do, Mom? Dad, holy crap. Twitch is becoming the biggest simp platform ever. Quick, something quick. That's the life. A Fighting! Hey, I was watching that! Twitch have a new intriguing category and a new intriguing live streaming content, shall we say, on their website at this moment in time, and it's called Hot Tub Streams, where literally females who are very, you know, confident about their appearance, very confident about the way they look, are wearing skimpy little bikinis live streaming it to their audience and posing 
in the very sexual, sexual ways. And I would say to this right now, I mean, I think Twitch is not the best platform in terms of communication. I think it's diabolical, to be honest, you know. I've talked a lot about Twitch, you know, from time to time. Last, I mean, the start of this year, I talked about the PogChamp emote, where it got bloody removed. The original PogChamp emote got removed because of the political things that the dude said on Twitter. He got cancel culture to hang on end. Nobody even knew who he was, but he got cancel cultured. And then, you know, Twitch brought in some new PogChamp emotes and the rest is history. Now, the fact of the matter is that Twitch can literally ban that po original PogChamp emote for political things, while this content like this has its own category now called pools, hot tubs, and streams. Now, that doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Like, Twitch talk about diversity, talk about inclusion, and talk about fucking equality all the fucking time, you know, and they single handedly don't even respect the other people who are getting cancel culture, you know, streamers are getting demonetized, channels getting demonetized and, you know, terminated for the stupidest things possible. And yet, this is safe for, for Twitch? Like, what the fuck's going on Twitch? You know, the people who are the headquarters of Twitch, what are you thinking? For me to dive in more into the whole hot tub streams, see what I did there, good little, you know, metaphor, oh, whatever. Amaranth, who you could say is the pioneer of these hot tub streams, she got her channel demonetized because of this. Now, my problem with this is you can't demonetize her channel while the other hot tub streams are fine, you are monetized. That doesn't make any sense. That's, that's stupid. That's, that is literally un unacceptable. You know, if you're going to demonetize Amaran, you don't have to demonetize all the other people who are doing hot tub streams. You can't just single-handedly single someone out because you don't like them. That's... What is this? Like, what is this? The only way this whole hot tub debacle meta stops on Twitch is the simps who are watching it get their mums involved. Get their mums to literally live stream on Twitch. I swear to God, they will stop watching. If they see their mum, a 50 to a 60 year old woman in a skimpy bikini twerking, I swear to God, they will stop watching. They, they'll be on the phone going, oh, and they're like, mum! What? what? My, my, my mom? My mom's streaming on Twitch in a hot tub? No, no, I'm gonna stop watching. Okay, I'll stop watching, mom. I'll stop watching. That is the only way they're going to stop watching this type of content. It's as simple as that. That's the only way hot tub streams will be sent to the shadow realm and dive in a bloody grave somewhere. Just get the moms involved, the Karen moms. Finally, a use for Karens in the world. Just get them in a hot tub stream and they'll stop. The simps will stop watching it. Every single month I find something ridiculous story that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever and you may be asking yourself, Natural, how could, where do you find these stories? Who, who comes up with these ridiculous stories? insane stories that you tell us every month. Well, we have another amazing story, another ridiculous story as well. This month where Chicago have a rat problem and they think how to deal with a rat problem is get thousands of cats to kill them. Perhaps. You have a rat problem, right? What's the first thing you should do if you have, I don't know, a pest problem? You know, you could think, Call the exterminator, maybe get the public involved to get rid of the rats, maybe get big massive rat traps, you know, I wouldn't think the first thing you'd be thinking to yourself is, hmm, cats. Like, I just find it bizarre how they can literally, how does Chicago, I mean, I would like to know right now, if the cats do get rid of these rats, okay, that means you have a cat problem. What are you going to do with the cats? You're just going to have a bunch of thousands of cats just single-handedly detouring through she, through Shy town and you've no idea what to do next. What's the next step? You're going to bring a bunch of thousands of dogs to deal with the cat problem, and then you've got a dog problem, and then what are you going to do with the dogs? Snakes? Then you have snake problems? And what's next? Snakes? You're going to have, I don't know, bears? Like, it's just, I find it freaking ridiculous. The human race 
is just evolving, but backwards. Simple as that. The, it's, just, it's just insane how dumb the human race can be. That they legit think, the humans, the fucking humans, can literally think, yep, we have a rat problem, let's get a bunch of cats. Cats, you know, eat rats, even though if you actually do your logic, not all cats eat rats, they eat mice, you know, so. So yeah, Chicago have a rat problem and are trying to resolve the rat problem by getting thousands of cats to kill them. I look forward, because I know the fact we'll be talking about this story in a couple of months time, where we will single-handedly be saying, Chicago government have thousands of cats and now have to single-handedly find some other animal to get rid of the cats in Chi-Town. And we end our Tamer show today with a very, very positive story and also a very tragic story. But let's start off with the positive story where Ajax won their Eredivisie um, title this season. So what they've done is, because no fans could be in the stadium for the whole season, they decided to melt down their trophy into tiny little stars and give it to the 42,000 season ticket holder. I think it was an amazing, incredible idea and it just puts a little bit of hope into humanity really. So I want to give Credit to Ajax, I think I was, I saw, the tw I saw the video and I was just like, that is why I love football, you know, give something back to the community and I thought it was an absolutely fantastic touch Ajax done, it just goes to show, um, if all clubs can be run like Ajax, there would have been no European Super League. And our tragic story of this month is Jordan Banks who is a nine year old kid, you know, had dreams of being a professional footballer one day. Sadly, uh, lost his life in a terrible lightning storm, and you know, just want to say my condolences go out to his family, his friends, and everyone as well. So, uh, Jordan, you will never be missed, my little dude. You know, I saw a lot of tributes from football clubs, but yeah, my like I said, my condolences go out to Jordan's family, his friends, and everyone who knew him. So, uh, Jordan, rest in peace, my little man. So everyone, that's the end of another video on the channel and the end of another Tamar This Month in Review. If you think that the only way to stop Hot Top Streams is getting Karen Moms, the simp moms, to literally go into Hot Tubs and wear little bikinis, then just right now, lean and headbutt that motherfucking like button. You can also follow me on my social media platform to link as usual I'll just be down there in the description. I hope you all have an amazing day out there. Stay safe and healthy too. Please like, subscribe, the natural your favorite punk on YouTube is out.